Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at Neoxa coin or Neoxa network. So for the past couple of months, Neoxa has been doing pretty well in terms of the mining profitability. But today we're going to be understanding basically the whole ecosystem. Because I really think that it's one of the best kind of ways to earn cryptocurrency, at least in the space that I'm in, in terms of YouTube plus the mining space. So we're going to be going through the main ways of earning on the Neoxa network. So if you don't know the whole thing about Neoxa is that it's play to earn. So it doesn't necessarily correspond to a game, it corresponds to a server. So they have run a bunch of different games, but we'll get into that later on in the video. Make sure you like this video and subscribe for more content like this. So obviously if you stuck around on the channel for a while, you know we are a mining channel here. So the first way to earn on Neoxa is obviously mining. Now with mining, I think it's the highest rewards next to nodes, which we'll also cover. If we click here, proof of work, it's just a 45% reward to miners. So throughout the whole block, if we look on the transactions of one mined block, you have 45%, which is going to the miners. We have 45% which is going to the nodes and then 5% which goes to, I believe, both play to earn and stream to earn. But we'll get into that in a minute. So they have a bunch of things here. Proof of work, obviously we're going to start with that. When it comes to mining, if you don't know how to mine, you just set up the batch file and put in your address here. A bunch of miners out there. So the most rewards would obviously come from mining, but you can get rewards from playing to earn, but we'll cover that later. And you can also get rewards from nodes. Now, in terms of profitability, I know that there are some stipulations which we go on to mining. If you would like me to make a video on how to actually mine the whole thing, if you're new to mining, then please let me know in the comments. But there's loads of videos out there on how to actually set up mining for Neoxa. It's basically the same as setting up for any other mining coin. Right here, we can see the profitability is not that good. Now, this is probably because it's on car power, which runs very hot on your mining rigs, or at least on pretty much all cards. There are other algorithms out there which run cooler, and I believe that car power is definitely the hottest algorithm for mining. I know Ergo is very cool. Casper, I mean, it's gone over to ASICs, but that was very cool, like Carlson, Alephium, so Blake 3 is very cool as well. So the only stipulation I have with mining is that it's very hard on the cards, so it's very intensive, which would kind of lead to wear and tear over time if you're mining them, as opposed to mining them on a less intensive algorithm. But when we're looking at profitability, you can see this is at 10 cents per kilowatt hour. We have around $62 profit, but that's at current price. So this can change in the future and stuff like that. But the whole point of this video is to show you different ways that you could earn Neoxa coin because there are multiple streams of income through this coin. And I think it's definitely one of the best ecosystems in that regard, because normally for mining, you just mine one coin and there would be no other ways to gain rewards on the network. However, Neoxa is incorporating a lot of things which we can take advantage of. So the rewards for mining aren't that good. However, there are also nodes on the network, and that's the second part of earning, which is the smart nodes. So smart nodes, we'll just go to understanding, is an innovative feature of Neoxa representing a cutting edge concept in the world of blockchain technology. So they're similar to master nodes. If you don't know, those are master nodes which run the whole network and stuff like this. However, smart nodes basically work off the fact that we're serving distinct purposes beyond the regular nodes, and enable the features and services, including the lightning fast confidential transactions, which set Neoxa apart from conventional cryptocurrencies. These nodes also play a crucial role in governance and decision making, so voting on the network. And obviously these kind of tie into play to earn as well at some point. So to operate a smart node on the Neoxa network, participants are required to hold 1 million Neoxa. So 1 million Neoxa at this time is around $4,300, if you had bought it, let's say two or three months ago, you would have seen it's way cheaper to buy a million Neoxa even around a month ago. And then further back, it was way, way cheaper to actually buy a node. So, so you would have returned pretty nicely on your investment if you had got into Neoxa smart nodes before all of this price action that we've seen. But it's still a good opportunity at $4,300. But I believe people were getting them for $500 to $1,000 at this range. So to operate a smart node on the network, you have to have a million Neoxa and ensuring commitment and integrity to the system. To operate a Neoxa node, you require a configuration consisting of two CPU cores, four gigabytes of RAM and 80 gigabytes of SSD. So in terms of the rewards, as we saw back here, if we scroll 
It says here smart nodes play a pivotal role. A 45% of the block rewards go to smart nodes, 45 to proof of work, and then 5% to the play to earn slash stream to earn. So I believe that would encompass the extra 10%. So 5% for play to earn, 5% for stream to earn. So to take it back to mining, if you go on the calculator here and then you type in your mega hash, let's just go with 100 mega hash. Let's say that you did have 100 mega hash, you'd find one block every five days. So if you're using a node, you could find that slightly quicker, I believe, because nodes have to verify all the other transactions on the network. And, you know, it's basically one of these proof of work, proof of stake, because you're basically putting up stake to buy a node to run the network and then you get rewards on top of the nodes. So one of the main things is why I'm covering both of mining and nodes at the start is because in theory, if you run up your own node, you can also then mine to that node. So any block that you approve through the miner will also be approved through your node. And in theory, you keep 90% of the block reward from that. So there's a lot of incentive to run your own Neoxa node and also mine to that node because then you can approve the block and you get the block rewards for both of the mining and the node approving the block. So it's one of those things that you could make a big investment into this if you're solely focused on mining it and you could also run the node to earn basically double the rewards because your node is going to confirm the block plus you're going to mine the block. It's probably one of the smartest ways to go about mining Neoxa so if you have a lot of capital then this is one of the best choices that you can do in terms of running a node and a miner to that node. Now I can't go through the whole setup here because I've never set up a node before. However, it's a simple setup where you just build out the node in the command line, or I believe it might be done through Windows PowerShell, I'm not sure. And then you just make a wallet that's executable to that node. However, there are other wallets that you can actually get for Neoxa. So when it comes to mining, it's as simple as just adding in your wallet address to the batch file and then picking a mining pool. So I believe there's mine, I believe there's minerpool.org. There's a bunch of other ones. I believe two miners also does a mining pool for Neoxa. But those are the main ways that I'd say if you're mining, you'd want to start up a node. If you have the capital, mine to that node. And then anytime you hit a block, you'll get basically double the rewards. As we see with this transaction, you get 2,250 and then 2,250. This is for the node. And then this is for the miner. So the extra 500 should in theory be shared out between the play to earn and the stream to earn. So overall, a block reward of 5,000 Neoxa. So if you're only mining, you'll only see this amount of reward. If you're mining to a node, then you'll see double this. So 2,250, which should be 4,500 Neoxa. But if you're just running a node, you'd also see this 2,250 Neoxa. So the extra 500 comes in through the play to earn slash play to stream feature. So the way that it works is that most games or at least cryptocurrency games have a play to earn function that is based on a game that is linked to a cryptocurrency. However, on the Oxa, they actually just link the cryptocurrency to another game that somebody else has made and run it through the servers of that game. So you can earn by playing on the servers. If we look here on the gaming platform, you can see the games that they have available. So right now they have Rust, GTA, Dota 2, and Fortnite. So with Rust, there's different ways that we can actually earn. Some of them require you to run on a server. Some of them also require you to run through a token generation. So you generate the token, and then you link it to your Rust account, and then you go through this server. However, if we click on another game like GTA RP, I believe this is a server as well. So you can see there. Dota 2, however, I believe is a sign in with Steam. So it automatically assigns the Neoxa address to your Steam account. And then whenever you're playing Dota 2, now the rewards are basically based off how many people are playing. Because when everyone's hitting a block in terms of the miners and nodes, if more people are playing on these servers and more people are earning, then you get less rewards. So there's not really a calculator to calculate how many rewards you would get. Same with mining, but mining we can calculate because the amount of blocks that are coming on the network is a fixed rate. We don't know how many people would be actually playing on the server at a fixed rate at a fixed time. And then lastly, we have Fortnite, which I believe isn't a server. All you have to do is add a display name or you can add this into your already display name on Epic Games account 
and then you submit the actual Epic Games display account and then it'll verify that this is linked to your account. So this is my personal one. If you guys want to put it on, sure, it'll earn me some, but you'll have to generate your own one when you come onto this gaming portal. So to navigate to this, you just go on the neoxa.net, go on to games and then click on the gaming portal there. So that's the play to earn feature. Now, as I said, we're looking at ways to earn on this. So there's another one, which is streaming. So with streaming, you can only do it on Twitch. I'm sure at some time they're going to do it on YouTube. So you have two platforms. If we wait for this to load, we can see here that you can authorize through Twitch and then you just input your wallet address here and it will assign your wallet address to that Twitch account. So anytime you're streaming, remember there are some legal issues with you have to have your own content and they will be checking on that. It has to be, you know, proven to be your own. There's no restreams so you can't just put up a vod that you made previously and put it on twitch so they will be monitoring these however you can also earn whenever you're live on stream as i said the rewards for this are going to differ between how many people are live at the same time so the reason that i'm sectioning this into play to earn and stream to earn is because there is an opportunity if you have a smaller channel or at least a growing following on twitch or on YouTube, you can direct it into Twitch if you want to. However, you could actually play one of these games that we see on the side here. So for example, Rust, GTA, RP, Dota 2, or Fortnite, and you link that into your Twitch account. So you can basically earn the rewards from play to earn and stream to earn at the same time. So there's two methods that you can use, even if you don't wanna mine it or you don't necessarily have mining hardware, you can still earn the Oxa by playing to earn, or streaming to earn. Now if you use both of them together, obviously you get more rewards from streaming whilst playing in one of these servers or linking one of these accounts into your Neoxa wallet. So I was thinking about a way where we could actually generate more if we ran our own servers, but then you'd have to actually talk to the Neoxa team and that would have to go through your smart node. So I'm not really sure on those things. However, the two main sections for earning are mining and nodes. You can also do those together. And then the play to earn and stream to earn, which you can do together for more rewards. So there's a split between the two. However, if you want to mine on a machine and run a node, and then in the background, you play, let's say Rust, or you play on Fortnite and stream it as well, you can earn rewards on that side. Now, I believe that they did have a Minecraft server if we look down to here they did used to have minecraft however they are also changing the games regularly so there will be new ones added and taken away sometimes it might be different in the future for what you're looking at right here but for the most part that's where you'll see the games on here and that will show you how to connect it also displays like player statistics and then the payments obviously coming out of rust and minecraft or whatever it will just show you the payout share what wallet it's going to, the status, the total, and how it gets paid out. So that's the main four ways to earn from the Oxa network. As I said, this is one of the best ways to actually implement play to earn that I've seen is where you don't base it from a game that you made because normally crypto developers and stuff like this, they make a game that's linked directly in and then all the microtransactions come with the cryptocurrency that they made and it kind of muddies the water between game development and just trying to make quick money from cryptocurrency. So this is one of the best implementations I've seen and obviously as a mining channel or a cryptocurrency technology channel, this is what I would wanna see from play to earn and play to stream. So they have a circulating supply of 21 billion, kind of like the Bitcoin, they half every four years. You can see there's 2,301 active smart nodes so to actually calculate how much you'd be earning from that, because I'm assuming that each node would get an equal share of the blocks. So you would just calculate how much blocks there are on the network and then divide it by how many nodes there are on the network. And then they also have a marketplace burn feature, which if we scroll down is actually put into the marketplace where they can purchase game, like in-game items with Neoxa, which I don't totally agree with, but the Neoxa coins spent in the marketplace are then removed from the supply. So that's slightly better than just trying to make money off Neoxa, you know, through the play to earn game style, which cryptocurrency has seen way too much of. So overall, I think that they're making steps in the right direction. Now there is one last way that you can get some Neoxa if you don't mine or you don't play any games 
or you don't have to set up any nodes and this is the Neoxa faucet and I'll link all of these in the description below so you can go around. So if you click onto the faucet at the top here, it's going to take you to this free faucet. So all you have to do there is type in your wallet address, click I'm not a robot and then click on claim. So it said that I've claimed in the last 24 hours so you have to wait 24 hours every day and you can claim the Oxa into your wallet. It's as simple as that. You don't have to do any mining or any node setup or any play to earn. You can just gain some Neoxa through that. So those are the best ways to earn on the Neoxa platform. I'm really looking forward to this into the future. We've already seen some good price action on it. We might look at running a node on the network and then mining to that node. We'll see how it goes from here, but there'll definitely be more videos on Neoxa because we've been looking at it for a while and we've been kind of neglecting it because it's been lower down on the cryptocurrency watch list that we've had because a lot of other cryptocurrencies have been exploding. So we're going to be taking a step back on some of these and we're going to be looking into a smaller market cap coins and we're going to be exploring them more to obviously help you guys earn some more money whilst you're either mining or playing video games basically. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you want to see any videos on how to mine the Oxo or how to go through the play to earn process or stream to earn process or any of the smart node process, please let me know in the comments below and I'll try to get videos set up for that as quick as possible. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more content like this.